Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. Hi, I'm Olivia Potter and I'm KWS's new technical specialist and I'm here in Falmer today looking at our product development site. So on this field we've got our BYDV trial that I'm stood in now, we've got peas, we've got wheat, winter barley, spring barley, oilseed rape, oats, we've got direct drilling versus conventional and a sow date trial as well for winter wheats um, just to see where they cross over between springs and winters and this will be open for everyone in June and July to come down and have a look. Barley yellow dwarf virus is the most economically important virus in UK cereals. There are lots of different symptoms, so to start with you'll see just yellowing upper leaves and a few stunted plants and then as the virus progresses you'll get bigger areas of stunted plants and more of a yellowing plant. Yield losses you can look at 60% in winter wheat and 50% in winter barley, although these high levels are quite rare. So an issue of late is that in 2019, barley was drilled for the first time without seed treatment to control this virus. And then because of all the weather, we didn't see the effects of that because a lot of crops didn't go in. So in 2020, every, all the crops got in the ground, fine. But because of the weather, again, aphicide applications got pushed, the timings got stretched. So last year we saw quite a lot of reports from people with BYDV in their crops. And this year we haven't had those consecutive frosts to really control that aphid pressure, so we're looking at high pressures again. We have limited options in controlling BYDV now. We obviously have chemical controls, but with environmental pressure and farmers wanting to use these less and less, it's not really a viable option for the future. We also have cultural controls, like destroying the green bridge. And in a recent survey that I've just done, I asked 250 farmers and agronomists what their experience is with BYDV and how they see it in the future. And what surprised me was that 72% of farmers had seen yield loss from BYDV. So I think things like a BYDV tolerant variety in the future is really going to be something at the forefront of farmers' minds. We've been doing BYDV trials here at KWS for a number of years. And last year's trial we had an unsprayed section, a 20% infected area and a 50% infected area. The 20% and 50% areas showed really similar yield results and it just shows that even at 20% infection, the yield loss can be quite significant. So for example, our BYDV tolerant variety Ferris yielded four ton a hectare more over a non-BYDV variety. And this year, we've done an 80% infected trial, so the differences are really significant. KWS Ferris is a conventional six row feed variety and like other six rows it's got really high yields. It really performs well in the west where you've got that BYDV hotspot and it'll also be really important for farmers looking to push their cereal drilling a bit earlier.